Hello there, my name is Sixo, but more on that later, as now it's time for a brand new unboxing video. And today we're taking a look at a third party product that pays reference to one of the more recent live action Transformers films. This is Transcraft Mohican. MXG01 Mohican is the first release in a new line from third party company Transcraft and sees them tackling the big screen Decepticon punk known as Mohawk. Mohawk has the distinct alternate form of a 2016 P-51 combat fighter from Confederate Motorcycles, a handmade vehicle which has been recreated in seemingly faithful form by Transcraft. Mohawk first appears in the most recent film in the main Transformers series, The Last Knight, and is one of several Decepticons that Megatron manages to free from prison before they're quickly up to no good all over again. Decepticons in the street! The troublesome troop don't get far before they're taken apart by a band of Autobots, although Mohawk does at least survive to tell the tale. Kind of. Am I the only one in here? As a highly distinctive design, I'm really excited to see what Transcraft have done with Mohawk, and indeed what other delights they'll bring us in the future. Last thing before we begin, today's video comes courtesy of TF Source, so I'll put a link to their site in the video description. The plan for today is to give you my first impressions and I'll be aiming to get a full photo review up on their blog ASAP. So here is Mohican in his box, and it's a very tiny little thing, but very colourful all the same. It's got this little character artwork on the front, uh, and a little, little speech bubble that just says, What up fellas, man I want to beat you right now. Which, well, it's a very generous offer, but perhaps later. And uh, yeah, if you just look on the back, there's a little bit more character artwork there. Not really much to report about that, but there you go. Weirdly, there doesn't seem to be any tape on this one. It's, uh, you just open it straight away. It did come in a little plastic bag. Uh, or baggy, but uh, I've taken that off already. But there you go, straight out the box. Uh, you've got little instructions just there, and that's the actual contents. Uh, so yeah, pretty simple. Right, so in the box you've got the toy itself, instructions, and two little accessories. Very simple little package overall, so let's go ahead and check it out. Well, as far as the vehicle mode goes, I think it's pretty good, actually. It's a, it's a very small, tiny little thing, um, but it looks really, really nice. Uh, decent proportions. I mean, look, let's be honest, motorbike transformers, motorbike alt modes are very, very hard to pull off at the best of times, but actually this captures it pretty well. Uh, as I say, nice proportions. Wheels both hit the floor, so that's good. It's got a little kickstand just underneath here, and the detailing looks pretty good too. I mean, look, I can't profess to be an expert on motorbikes at all. My wife knows far more about them than I do, but, you know, it looks decent enough to me, right? And it's certainly kind of got that kind of mechanical vibe. Uh, it looks a little bit like the, the uh, model from the uh, big screen. So, you know, I'm happy with that. It's got some nice little uh, green accents just here and on the back. You know, overall, I think it looks good. You can see some more of those highlights just here, a little bit of uh, kind of orange or red on the side just there as well, that's nice. So, you know, although it is predominantly gray and black, there is a little bit to look at as well. Overall, it's, you know, it's quite visually interesting. Now it does roll pretty nicely on both wheels, so that's good. And as I say, with that little kickstand down, it's not the most stable, but it will hold. Uh, just on its two wheels, so that's kind of cool. And uh, yeah, no, overall, you know, <laughs> what else to say about it really? It's a tiny little motorcycle form, nice details. Uh, you know, I think it's on point. Going in for a bit of a closer inspection on the side here, you can see just a little bit of the, um, the actual Mohican just um, uh, pointing out the back here, which is kind of cool. Uh, I think that might be the little robot mode eye, that little dash of, uh, of, of gold and orange on the side there, so that's kind of nice. Um, do kind of like how some of the detailing carries off, uh, uh, you know, over panels and things like that. Um, and overall, as I say, I think they, they pretty much nailed this in terms of uh, the level of detail required. And here's a bit of a close-up on the wheels. Uh, they do have a kind of rubbery feel to them, so I suspect that may actually be um, a little bit of, uh, of rubber in there, which I'm sure will keep people happy. And uh, yeah, I think they look good. Now, it's not made immediately clear in the instructions, but there is room for a bit of weapon storage as well, because there's these little uh, peg holes just on the back of the wheels, like that, so you can go ahead and just plug in one of the weapons on one side and the other on the other side just like that and there you go i think that works pretty well in terms of weapon storage in terms of size you can see them here with mpm jazz the official toy and uh, yeah actually i think that works kind of nicely i mean that vehicle mode scale never really going to be a thing is it but ultimately uh, you know this is quite a small car so i guess this is not too far off anyway i mean the vehicle the, you know the bike would probably be a little bit smaller but hey it works for me and hey here's a bit of a fun one for you here he is with human alliance frenzy uh, which accompanies human alliance barricade and uh, yeah no he's 
fits kind of well actually. I mean, he's maybe a little bit small, but um, you got to laugh, don't you? So all things considered and, you know, really taking into account what I need this thing to do, I'm actually pretty impressed so far. It's more detailed than I uh, might have anticipated. So let's go ahead and check out Transformation. Okay, and here is Mohican in his robot mode, and transformation was really not too bad at all. Very, very simple little thing, uh, which is cool, actually. It's nice to have a simple transformation for once, particularly on a sort of Bayformer design, because they can get a little bit complicated sometimes. Um, there are a couple of bits that are quite interesting. I really like the way this kind of section folds around for the chest. I think that's quite cool. Uh, and uh, there are a couple of bits like that that just kind of pop off on little ball joints, but hey, it all goes back together quite nicely. Um, there is also a tiny bit of parts forming. This wheel on the right shoulder is uh, from the front of the motorbike and that pops off and then reattaches here. Some people are going to hate that, I'm sure, because they don't like parts forming. I really don't mind it, it got to be said. But um, I think the result is pretty nice too. I mean, if you spin him around, you can see he's pretty clean from all angles. Uh, really nothing... Well, two Kibli going on there. I mean, it, it kind of obviously fits the Bayformer, um, you know, movie aesthetic pretty nicely. Yeah, you know, and actually Pose is pretty cool too. I mean, we'll take a look at articulation in a minute, but you know, on the whole, feels nice and sturdy, quite well made. Uh, you know, I've got no issues with joints or anything like that. Uh, you know, the finish is nice. I've got to say, for such a little thing that is quite spindly as well, actually it feels you know, quite robust. Uh, you know, new company from uh, Transcraft, not uh, experienced anything from them before, but I'm impressed. So yeah, on the whole, there's quite a lot to like here, I think. And of course, a big part of that is the look. And you know, some people are going to really hate this design <laughs> just on its very nature, you know, being a Bayformer and a little bit different and whatever else. I kind of dig it myself. And I think they've, um, you know, they've recreated it really nicely here because it is a bit of an odd one. Uh, but you know, from my perspective, I feel like they've got all the details on point. Um, you know, it is predominantly silver, so it has all the propensity for being a little bit dull. But actually, they've included enough paint applications with the green and whatever else to look yeah, really quite striking actually. I think it's quite eye-catching. Now of course a big part of that is the face sculpt because that is just, well it's very unique, let's put it that way. <laughs> it's not something you're going to forget anytime soon. And I do think they've done a really nice job with it. I mean here you can, know, you can see some of those wonderful paint applications. Those tiny little teeth are really really cool. The mouth does move as well a little bit so that's kind of, that's you know, that's a nice little touch. Those eyes look great, the little mohawk looks fantastic, all of the paint's superbly applied. Um, you know, if we turn his head just a little bit to the side, you can see uh, that nice fading on there as well. I just think it looks gorgeous. Chest looks really on point too, and that little silver fleck paint carries over nicely from the vehicle mode. Uh, green little highlights as well, I think that all looks really, really cool, I like the way it comes together. Um, I do wish that the chest tabbed in a little bit better, because you can see a little slight nudge and it just kind of comes apart. So um, that's a slight irritation of mine, it's got to be said. Really like these arms, think these spikes are very, very cool. They feel quite sturdy as well, slightly sharp. Um, not too sure about the hands, got to be said, it's just kind of um, this molded open hand, which, I don't know, looks a little bit strange for my liking. I, I would have maybe preferred a closed fist or something slightly more uh, kind of, I mean, I don't mind the fact that it's molded, you know, and can't articulate, but just maybe kind of mold it slightly uh, more closed than it is. The, the flat palm just looks a little bit weird to my eye. Overall though, it's got to be said, I think he looks great. I really feel like they've done a great job with this design, honestly. Like, very nice, on point, looks like the character. What else can you say? Now in terms of articulation, you've got quite a free range at the head, which is really, really cool. Uh, you can look down uh, uh, quite a bit as well, which is nice, and um, uh, up a tiny bit. And of course, as I've already mentioned, you've got that articulated jaw as well. Now in terms of the shoulders, there's kind of a, like a little hinge with a double ball joint in there, so there's quite a bit of motion. Uh, you can just move this wheel out of the way slightly to, to get it out of the way of the head, of course. Uh, and then in terms of the um, elbows, you've got a ball joint and a hinge, so quite a decent range there. Uh, and then the hands, as I've already mentioned, are, are one molded piece, but there is a little ball joint just at the, um, at the uh, wrist, just there, so there you go. 
Coming down to the lower half, you've got a waist swivel just there. And then again, you've got a hinge and a ball joint at the hip. So quite a range of motion at the hip. Now the legs themselves are really, really strange. You can see here multiple hinges. So one here, one here. Uh, so they move, you know, quite freely, almost like chicken's legs uh, or bird legs. It's, it's, it's quite odd to say the least. Uh, and then you've got a little hinge uh, just at the toe as well, or the foot, just like that, uh, and a little ball joint just in the ankle, so that kind of swivels around, and you can get a little bit of ankle tilt also. Um, I will say that the ankles themselves just here feel a little bit hollow, but it's fine on such a small thing, to be honest. Uh, so yeah, quite a range of articulation at the legs. All of which means that he's quite poseable overall, he's a nifty little thing. Uh, again, the hands are probably the biggest bugbear of mine really, because just this um, uh, kind of flat open palm, it just kind of kills the look a little bit for me somehow. I wish that they had moulded it into more of a closed fist, or as I say, partially closed at least. But it's fine, honestly. I do. Um, I didn't note this before, but the little green trim just here on those fingers is nice. Um, but yeah, you know, overall, as I say, he poses really, really well. I do think that a big part of the heavy lifting here is being done by that head sculpt because it's just superb. Now, speaking of the hands, of course, you can go ahead and put his weapons into his palms like so. And here's the other one, which I don't even really know what that is, to be honest. It's kind of like just. I don't know, random blades. And you know, here I think is another demonstration of why I think those hands don't really work, because the weapons just kind of sit on the palms. They look a little bit silly, to be honest. Never mind though, because you can actually store them on the sides of his legs. So again, they just go ahead and peg in like so. A little bit stiff on there, but there we go. And there you go, they're on the sides of his hips. And uh, yeah, actually, I think that looks kind of cool. It kind of, I don't know, plays into this sort of um, very punk rock aesthetic that he's got going somehow. So yeah, I, I like it. So overall, I quite like him, I have to say. I mean, he's not perfect by any means. There are a couple of little fiddly bits. Uh, you know, the, some of the ball joints have a propensity for popping off a little bit. The feet are, they're fine. I wish there was maybe just a little bit more ankle tilt. The hands, I've already mentioned, but they're a little bit weird. But you know what, on the whole, He's really, really nice. You know, the finish is good. The joints and stuff feel tight. You know, it feels well made. I'm into it. I like it. Anyway, let's go ahead and do a few comparisons. And here he is with Human Alliance Frenzy again. And this is the little Scorponok that comes with the Wei Zhang Hide Shadow there, Black Owl. And uh, you can see there a couple of other tiny little lads. He shapes up pretty nicely. Here he is next to New Age Mister, their Soundwave, which I've just reviewed as well. Uh, so do check out that video if you get time. But uh, yeah, he's uh, he's not the tallest bot, and you can see that here. This is him versus MPM Bumblebee, uh, who of course is quite a bit taller, but you can see he is small, but he's not like the most tiny thing ever, it's fair to say. Similar story with MPM Barricade, one of my favourites, and uh, yeah, they shape up really nicely together actually. I would love to see a Last Night Barricade from someone at some point as well. Right, well let's get a bit bigger, and here you can see him with MPM 10 Starscream, the more recent one, which again I've done a video review of uh, just a, a week or two ago, and uh, yeah, quite a big size difference now. Well hey, how's this for a bit of a random comparison? Here he is with Black Mamba Jetfire, which of course is a um, oversized version of the Studio Series mould, and <laughs> very impressive big thing, it's got to be said, but uh, there you go, size difference. Likewise with Wei Zhang, Hide Shadow, their blackout, and that's what the Scorponok goes with. And uh, yeah, absolute monster of a thing, as you can see. Now, of course, there have been a number of other last night third party toys on the market. Here are two of them. This is from DX9. It's La Haya, their hot rod and unique toys. Same company, really, but it's uh, Challenger, their Optimus Prime. And uh, there you go. You can see this sort of, you know, this burgeoning cast starting to line up, which is really, really nice, actually. I think they all look uh, really good together. Of course, the real test is seeing it with the Unique Toys Dragoon, which is their attempt at the last night Megatron. Uh, and again, absolute monster of a thing uh, that it is. I did a review of this for TF Sources blog, so if you're on the fence about it or not sure, check it out. I really, really like it overall. That's the, the too long didn't read version. And uh, yeah, there you go. You can see how they shape up. It'll be great to see the rest of Megatron's last night crew all brought together uh, in third party form as well, wouldn't it? I'd love to see that happen. So where does that leave us? Well, overall, I think he's neat. Honestly, he's not like perfect, as I said earlier. A couple of things like the, the hands and whatever else, but really they're just little grumbles. You know, overall, this is a nice little design. I don't see anybody else attempting to bring us a third party mohawk anytime soon. I may be wrong, you never know. But ultimately, you know, I think if you're on the fence about this guy, my thing would be that, it, you know, it's a toot. So that's Transcraft Mohican. Say that five times fast. Now I'll put a link to TF Source's listing for this guy in the video description, and I'll be aiming to get the full photo review up on their blog soon. Otherwise, that's it from me. So enjoy the rest of your day. TTFN. TTFN.